please put your hands together, Claire Smith. Okay, today we are cooking Dover sole with a, a minestrone of shellfish and sea vegetables. It's a really, really light dish. Luke's going to start by prepping the Dover sole. What I'm going to do is going to skin both sides. I'll show you how to do that. And then we're going to portion it down and brine it. So what I'm going to do is start with it. To release the skin, you're just going to dip the tail in boiling water there. And what that will do is just uh, make this whole process a lot easier. Just get a firm grip, hold it down, and the skin will just rip right off. I'm going to make a, a simple something we call a braisage which is um, button mushrooms, shallots, garlic, thyme, noli prat. We use chicken stock in it because I think it's just a little bit richer and we finish it with butter. Both sides of the fish just come cleanly off. So straight down the center of the spine with a serrated knife. So that's the portion of the fish. And um, we're just gonna brine that now for half an hour. And then afterwards we put it in the water bath and then we're gonna finish it off in the braisage that I've got cooking here. Once it's cooked, it's got a nice consistency quite a lot of butter in there. I'm going to put a little bit more in. Next thing Luke's going to do is he's going to start making the garganelli. So literally little squares of pasta and all we're going to do is touch a little bit of the egg wash just in the corner and then we've got a little bamboo skewer and we're just going to roll it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cook the razor clams. Also with this we've got some uh, cockles, some clams and some mussels. We've also got um, a little uh, vegetable stock that's the razor clams cooked, and they're just cooked. Just take the knife, and that's the bit that we use there. You just pull it apart like that, and we're just gonna cut those into nice little rondelles. So that's the fish there that we've been brined. Obviously, we've done it in a few different stages. Just lightly wrapped some cling film to hold the shape. Then we're just gonna pop it out. And what we're gonna do is just finish it through the braisage sauce, about two minutes on each side. So I'm gonna put everything together. So we've got our razor clams, cockles, mussels, cocoa beans. Uh, we're going to put some fennel and some celery. There goes our garganello, which we've blanched off beforehand. We've got some sea beet, rock samphire, and some monk's beard. And we're just going to warm it up. And Luke's just finishing the, the sole in the braisage. So again, just probably about two minutes on each side. So literally, just with a spatula, I'm going to run uh, just down the backbone of the fish and just tease it off the bone. Once our fish is off the bone like that, we put it back together again. Normally have a few little uh, shellfish to put on the top again. More basically sea vegetables, herbs, and then we'll just pour the broth in. And that's it. What an amazing dish. <laughs> Thank you. Events like this are really important to inspire the next generation of chefs and for them to see people on stage that they, they know, they're recognised, to be able to ask questions um, and to be able to pick up ideas or uh, tips on, on preparation and cooking.